Hello everyone, Tina here. I hope you're having a fantastic day. Thanks for joining me. Today I'm like super excited. We're going to start the Holiday Head Start series for 2019. We're going to get a jump start on our holiday card making and I thought this year would be fun if we created some gift tags to go along with it. So the stamp set that I'm using is called Holiday Gnomes and it's from Stampandas and this one I'm particularly fond of because a few months ago, Stampendous asked me to be part of their July catalog, so some of my designs are featured in that catalog, and their step-by-step -step tutorials, along with um, color photographs in the July catalog for Stampendous. So if you want to check it out, I'll link it down below. But this stamp set is so cute. We're going to jump in and get started by doing some stamping. We are going to bring in the Misty, and there's three little gnomes that I'm fond of, and actually the card that I'm making today is pretty close to the card that's in the catalog. Um, with the exception of the sentiment, but we're going to use um, three of the gnomes. There's one with has little braids, which is so stinking cute. There's another one um, that's sitting down, like he went kapooey, did a little too much shopping. <laughs> and then I'm going to stamp the heart also. So we're just inking up our little gnomes with Memento Tuxedo Black ink, and we're going to stamp them a few times on some Nina 80 pound cardstock. I'm going to stamp two panels of these images. That way one panel could be just for my card and then the other panel I can use directly for my little um, Christmas tags. This year tags, I, I I love putting tags, especially customized tags on Christmas gifts. But And then I also love a little tidbit <laughs> is I love um, putting real ribbon on um, my presents. I just think it just adds an extra special touch. Um, Paper Mart has ribbon rolls, pretty inexpensive, and so those are what I use. Um, or I wait until after Christmas and then buy my rolls of ribbon, like at um, Sam's Club or um, Costco, when they're marked down. So that's a little, <laughs> little hint on how I um, wrap my presents. But I'm coloring here. I'm going to play a little bit of music while I finish up, and when I'm done, I will catch you back.
Okay, coloring is just about done. I'm going to take my C1 Copic marker and just highlight some of the white areas on my little gnomes here, just to add a little shaded detail. And then I'm going to fussy cut each one of my elements out. Now I have two different, two same sets actually. So one set will be for my card and then the other set we're going to use for our tags. I am going to add a little bit of sparkle using my Jelly Roll Stardust pen. It's an intensified glitter pen and I haven't used it in a while so I'm testing it out and it's super sparkly and I'm trying to pick up the, the sparkle for you guys so you can see what it looks like but my camera is not focusing sorry <laughs> so I just showed you a blob of paper for no reason but I am going to add sparkle to this little guy's belt and then um, to the present on my little girl gnome and then also um, a few little dots to her little hair bows. After I have that done, I'm going to go in with my white gel pen. A few areas I did go outside the line, so I cleaned those up and then I'm going to add some um, little white detail to the snowflake on my little gnome's hat here. Um, when the white gel pen did dry, the white pulled back and it became pink. <laughs> so I had to do it a few times just to keep it um, nice and bright and white. But I'm all finished up here, so we are going to, um, I'm going to try to show you that sparkle because it was so pretty. <laughs> Just not focusing. But I'm going to zoom back out and then we're going to set these aside and we're going to work on our background panel. I'm going to remove my little trash bucket here. <laughs> and I'm using a piece of white cardstock. We're going to die cut out a panel with a double stitch rectangle die. And then while I'm at it, I'm going to take a hillside border die and I'm going to create a hillside with some white cardstock and I'm sorry about that. My computer's been wigging out. You'll notice my volume um, on my sound is different. I don't know what I'm doing guys. I honestly don't. It seems like the more I try to fix something the worse it gets. <laughs> so bear with me with it. Um, but I'm going to take the same double stitch rectangle die and cut out um, stitch lines on my hillside border. And I use the same one as my panel. This way it I can just layer them both together. Okay, I'm going to add a little blue to my background using some Distress Oxide ink. This is Tumble Glass. Just using my blending tool, I'm going to add a little bit of color to my background. We'll do a little bit of light blue shading. And there are some few white areas and I like that. Kind of just wanted a, a wintry, snowy background. Now, speaking of snow, I thought we'd add some um, paint splatters to emulate some snow. So I'm going to bring in some white acrylic paint. I'm just going to add a little bit to my acrylic block here. I'm going to just regular cheapy acrylic paint. Um, these are tubes, but you can buy the little um, round ones from Wally World. I think it would work the same. But I added some water to it to thin it out. And then using my paintbrush, I'm just going to do some splattering. And I'm going kind of heavy because I want some a heavy snowfall in the background. It's pretty subtle with the tumble glass, but I um, love the way this turned out. Now I'm going to set it aside to dry with the acrylic paint. It does take some time to dry. So while that's drying, we're going to work on our Christmas tags. This is a die set, um, a Christmas, well not really Christmas, but it's a die set from MFT. It's the Christmas tags blueprint. No. I keep saying Christmas tags, but it's not. <laughs> it's, I'm making Christmas tags, but it's a blueprint um, tag set. And if I can, I don't know. Sometimes with MFT, they discontinue things. So if I can find it, I'll link it. But if I can't, um, tags are pretty popular. You could probably use any tag for the style of tags that I'm creating today. But I'm going to create some tan um, craft tags using some Mina Desert Storm. And then I'm going to create some white tags. We're going to kind of flip-flop them a little bit. So I did die cut out the little decorative decorative edge for the top and then the two in front. So I have three tags in total, um, two each for layering. I'm going to go ahead and flip this around. The two in front is going to be on the reverse side of my tag. And then um, I'm going to take the decorative edge, go ahead and add a little bit of glue. And then this is going to go glue down on my craft card stock. Now this the middle one is going to be the opposite. So my background will be white. My to and from will be on the reverse side, but it'll be with the craft card stock. And then um, the third one will be the same exact as the first one. Now I'm taking an eyelet 
and I love adding eyelets. I have lots of them, so I might as well put them to good use. And it really does make a finished looking tag. Using my crop dial, I'll just secure that at the very top. And then you can see what it kind of looks like. If you want to write a message on the inside, you could do that. But I just like the effect that that has. I'm going to do the same thing to this one. I'm going to go ahead and glue down my little craft decorative piece in the very top. And then um, I'll secure them all together with my eyelid. I'm not going to add no glue to them um, in case I do want to write a message later on. And I need to get open up my new pack of eyelids because I used the last one. The eyelids that I'm using are the larger ones from We Are Memory Keepers. And again, we're just going to add one to our punched out hole there. And we'll secure them with our eyelid. And I'll do the same exact thing to my third one. Again, the third tag is going to look just like the first one. Now, I did use a my border die and cut out a little, uh, not really a snow bank because it's brown, but <laughs> a hillside with the craft card stock. And I'm going to go ahead and tape that down. And then I'm going to remove it because <laughs> I thought, you know what, with the white background, we're going to do a little stamping. So I'm going to bring in the stamp set and there's a little flower in there. I'm just going to place that in the acrylic block, stamp that with memento ink, and then add a flower to my little white background. And then um, I'm going to color it in with my Copic markers. Kind of using my hillside as a guide. I'll stamp that flower. And I used red um, Copics to color in my flower with a little bit of green. I thought it went perfect with the little Christmas tag idea. And I'm kind of figuring out which gnome I want on which tag. Um, for the first and the last tag, I'm going to add the white snowbank. I just used my tape runner. Any excess overhanging, I'm going to trim off, and I'll take that same piece and add that to my last tag here. We're going to, that looked like a diagonal edge, so I want to just add a little more tape to the right side and adhere that. Okay. I think that looks great. I was just checking to see if my um, acrylic paint had dried, but it's still a little bit wet. Okay, we're going to take our gnomes, flip them over, add foam tape behind them. Add our little hearts, put the green heart with the green outfitted gnome and the red one that doesn't um, have any red on his little clothes. <laughs> we'll add a little dimension by popping them up. And I'm not going to add no sentiment on the front. I thought the to and from on the reverse side would be perfect. I'm going to add some smaller foam squares behind the little hearts here and then the very top of the little gnome hats. Every Christmas, I decorate my packages. I love using real ribbon for my packages. Um, I usually wait until after the holidays when when everything goes on sale 50% off <laughs> to get my bulk ribbon. And so, because I love using real ribbon for my packages and not the, the plastic stuff. So, handmade tags with a real ribbon, I think it just makes for a beautiful package. Um, I am going to add red ribbon to my tag here. And then we'll just thread it through. It's about an eight inch strip. And then I'm gonna do that to all of them. I'm not gonna knot it or anything because I thought we would add um, some bells. I'm taking some white twine, cutting down a small strip. And then I have these little white jingle bells. Um, I didn't label them, so I'm not sure where I got them, but I'll try and find them, but they're awful cute. I'm gonna put three on my little string here and then I tied them in a knot just so they wouldn't go anywhere. And then I'll take that string and wrap it around my ribbon. We'll tie a little knot, making sure the, the jingle bells are in front. And then I'll tie a bow, kind of tucking them in, the ends underneath those bells. We'll just trim off our little twine here. And then we'll clean up the edges of our ribbon, kind of putting them at a hard diagonal. And I think they look so cute. I'm going to do that to all three of them. And I just think they look fun and it would look great on a package. <laughs> and again, if you wanted to write a message on the inside, you could. So we're going to take all three tags, set those aside, and work on our card base. For our card base, I'm going to add some foam tape behind it. And then this is going to go on an A2 size um, landscape style um, craft note card. Um, so it's four and a quarter by five and a half inches. I'm going to go ahead and stamp my sentiment now. For this card, I chose um, Gnome for the Holidays 
Now, the one I used for the Stampandas catalog, I used um, uh, Chillin' with my Nomies, I believe. <laughs> it was so cute. Um, so I thought we'd make it this one a little bit different. I'm going to stamp the little leaf image a couple times next to the sentiment. And this leaf has three, um, three on a branch. And I'll color those in with my green Copic marker. And I thought we'll turn this into a little holly berry. So bringing in a red Copic marker, we're going to add three little berries to the bottom of our little leaf here. Add a little Christmas greenery. So cute. We'll flip this over, add foam tape behind here, and add that to our card base. And then now we get to add our little gnomes. And I, for this for this card, we're going to add all three. And then basically, the layout that I'm, I'm sharing with you today is pretty darn close to the layout that I use for the catalog. And um, I don't know if I mentioned it, but the uh, Stampendous website does have a step-by-step -step, um, printable tutorial how to create this card. Um, if you're interested in that, the links will be down below. We got to add a little sparkle using some glitter drops. These are honey gold from Nuvo. Added some to the belt, and to the bows, and to the bells. <laughs> and that's my card for today, along with my three little Christmas tags. I love creating Christmas projects early, especially um, around the end of August, early September, because um, sometimes the holiday season you can get a little stressed. And so if I have a majority of my things done, it makes it just relaxing and fun. So I hope this gives you an idea how to create a card with some coordinating tags. I want to thank you so much for joining me guys. Links are down below in the description area in case you want to check them out. But have a fantastic and lovely day and we will see you again soon. Bye bye.